look at this. There are 2,444 subscribers in my trading group and we've been killing it. I want to give a few shout outs to my trading group. CBC, thank you so much. I'm up $13,000 this week. Your group's amazing. I made $47,000 in April because of your setups. You're, this person's up 2,400, 1,500, 647%. This person doubled my money after a phone call that we had uh, just yesterday. This person said, I woke up and I had 73% gains in data. Thank you. I woke up with 58% gains while I was sleeping. Another thousand dollars. That's four thousand dollars in seven days. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where everybody's calling out breakouts, posts, and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos. You'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day, and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum, 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution, where I talk about everything crypto daily. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, definitely do so. Hit that like button for me. Trying to get a like spike going, thousand likes a video. I'm going to make, you, make sure you're extremely successful in the cryptocurrency space because I'm going to keep you updated daily. All the technical analysis, altcoin setups, and news that moves the market. Jumping right into the market today in crypto, Bitcoin at about 9,400. This is the three-day chart. We've talked about this yesterday. Uh, we've got a bearish MACD cross that's been confirmed. Uh, the RSI is up here essentially at the top of this falling wedge down on the uh, RSI. So, you know, potentially unless there's a, a big breakout above this strong resistance, you know, you can expect a move low over time. It's completely possible that Bitcoin continues to kind of range and do nothing for, you know, a period of even a couple more weeks. This is a Bitcoin 12 hour chart. If this yellow trend line right here breaks, you're going to expect a lot more downside. 8,500, 8,000, 7,800, 7,500. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Okay. My buy signal, 10,500. Once Bitcoin breaks above 10,000 and then 10,500 possibly comes down here and retests on a higher time frame, it's go time. Bull run ready. We'll see 12,000, then $14,000 Bitcoin at that point. This is the four hour chart. We talked about this yesterday. You have, you have this little inverse head and shoulders now forming. You know, there's some question marks about this happening, and Bitcoin did break lower and bounce. You've got this falling wedge. 68% chance this breaks out to the upside at some point. You know, we could see a Bitcoin run up to around 9,800 again. And again, you've got all this range for, you know, Bitcoin just to continue sideways. If this lower trend line breaks, significant downside ahead. You do not want to be part of a Bitcoin pullback. This is a Bitcoin one hour chart. So you got to break to the downside of this bullish pennant. Okay. Bitcoin came down here and tapped about 93, 92.30. Uh, if you look, you, you, this is the inverse head and shoulders idea I was talking to you about. So left shoulder, head, Uh, potentially, this could be the right shoulder forming. Again, you got to get a break above, you know, 9550 for this to play out. But this is a bullish reversal pattern, right? Because essentially, you've got your low and then this is a higher low, meaning that the bears couldn't push the price down lower than the previous low. So again, just kind of depends on this move now and it still has to be confirmed. Bitcoin has had a hard time breaking above the uh, 50 and the 200 or overhead resistance. Listen, I got to give a couple shout outs to my trading group because we've been just destroying it. It's just, I can't even tell. I'm hardly getting any sleep. I'm kind of maybe on a couple hours uh, recently, like over the last 24 hours. But it's, it's easy to stay driven when you're seeing this kind of success. This person stated, I'm up 5,000 in profit. I love this group. No, now I'm up 5,600 a couple hours later, 10 hours later. 
this person said, I've been a member for a week. I'm already up 1,000. Watch the videos, learn the charts, follow the setups. Easy money. Easy money. This person made $4,100 on this trade and then 1.8 Bitcoin on this trade, $16,787. Everybody was killing it in ADA today. This person up 191%. This person up 252%. Huge gains. If you look, this is a Binance top five coins. I've got setups on four of them. ARC overall, since I posted the setup, up 54%. ERD up 44%. I talked to you guys and I gave you this setup. RLC up 58% and Strat up 48%. So huge gains in the trading group. I got so many thank you from thank you messages from you guys. Thank you emails. It really means a lot. You know, it definitely drives me. Like running on fumes sometimes makes it a lot easier if I get, you know, feedback from you guys and just know, hey, like I'm changing lives. And that's the goal is together we can succeed in this cryptocurrency space. Here's Nano. I talked to you guys about Nano yesterday. It was started breaking out mid video and then boom, epic upside. There's still quite a bit of upside left for Nano, but again, it's all about timing, right? You just don't wanna buy now and, and hope for the best. You wanna look for a pullback to support. This is the Bitcoin Boomer Rally. So River Financial is a startup Bitcoin financial services firm. Said it's Bitcoin investors over 55 make up 77% of the volume since March. This is a Bitcoin mining company and they're, they're getting destroyed. Basically, the idea is that their equipment is a lot less profitable. Miners, their old equipment, I mean, it's not as profitable as it used to be. So a lot of times in my spare time, I'll listen to really successful people on YouTube and just listen to them talk, motivational speaking, if you will. And I take a lot of notes and I just want to share some of this that I found. And, and it's true. 75% of people don't like their jobs. And which makes you think, gosh, that's a big number. I mean, imagine getting up every single day and doing something you don't want to do. Like you're not passionate about. What is life about? You know, and, and I really want to encourage you guys, like you, it's important to have a vision. Every single day, it's almost like I wake up and everything else just gets in the way. I have this vision, right? Everything else is just kind of secondary. You, you know, things are just slowing me down all the time. I have this vision that's so strong and that drives me on a daily basis. And I, and I can see it, I can feel it, I can, I can, it's right here, right here, okay? And so I set these very attainable goals on a daily basis and I hit those goals. And it's not, it's really about being consistent. But one of the most important things is you can have the best, fastest race car there is. You can have the biggest, best airplane there is. But if you don't have a pilot for the vehicle, if you don't have a direction for your life that you're focused on, you're going to get stuck in the same old thing. So what cryptocurrency does for, for me, and I know it means this to a lot of you guys, it's a vehicle, it's the vision. It's the direction that we have that shows, hey, we don't want to be like the 75% of people that go to work every day that don't like and they're not happy with what they're doing as far as work. I mean, essentially, you're trading your life, hours, years off your life for paper fiat money that you pay your bills with. This is the biggest financial revolution of our lifetimes. And I want to make sure you guys take full advantage of everything in this market. And just know that you have to learn a lot about this space to be very successful. But set a goal and make sure that every minute of every day you're focused on this goal. And when you attain financial freedom through crypto, just, just imagine what it's going to be like waking up every single day and you do exactly what you want on a daily basis. This entire idea is what makes me passionate about keeping you guys up to date. Like I see the vision and a lot of new people come in and I want to show them the vision. Like, hey, this is this is really how it works. I, I, I learned the hard way. I took the slow route. Like I wish I would have known half of what I know now near the beginning uh, when I started in cryptocurrency. Like, here's a setup for you guys. This is STX. Now, STX has a mainnet coming near the end of the month. Okay, remember the main nets, how these main net, main net launches work is it's hype, 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 buy the hype, sell the actual event, right? So you'll see a sell off typically right before that. Important to know that there's some upside here for STX. Uh, keep in mind, it's always good to, get, this is a previous setup. It's always good to get in on a pullback. This is a zoomed in 30 minute chart. I was trying to nail um, entry 
on this larger time frame. So if you can imagine all that's happening down in here, really what you want to do is buy the breakout of this level. So again, you got this kind of cup and handle-ish type pattern. It's not, hey, buy now. It's, hey, buy when the price action breaks above this level. And, you, and you'll see, I mean, potentially 40% gains out of uh, STX. You go to CoinMarketCal and you can see Blockstack, STX, the main net launch is June july tentative date always good to nail that down and make sure that's the actual confirmed date bts bitshares has a main net launch on june the 30th whiteboarded i want you guys to write down some notes put this stuff i talk about on on your whiteboard so that you stay organized this is a business so this is bts essentially you're looking to buy the breakout of this level again all the levels are located over here if you don't know how to trade a breakout if you don't know how to set a stop loss if you don't know how to take profits just ignore this like you, you don't need to be trying to trade these setups main net run up again there's about 13 days till the end of the month this is bitcoin dominance and bitcoin dominance got completely wrecked so i talked to you guys about this double top reversal it was going to be good for the altcoins and that's exactly what happened it played out amazingly if you're an altcoin trader or an altcoin holder because these altcoins saw significant upside now if i'm not talking about larger cap coins larger cap coins haven't been doing anything right you, it's important to separate yourself from the herd and you got to see through and understand hey the money is being made in the small and the micro caps right now right the new projects the projects that haven't 100x yet that's where you make your money watch so again you got this bearish retest just like we talked about with bitcoin and you got a continuation move to the downside over on Binance, just to show you, you've got a bunch of double-digit green coins. If you haven't made a Binance account, go to Binance International. There's a link in the description that supports the channel. Make a Binance account. Start trading these smaller and micro-cap altcoins. There's a ton of upside lately. Any of these news pumps, mainnet launches, testnet launches, hard forks, any type of positive news, the money is flowing into these small caps. So earlier I posted just this idea, hey, there's, there's a bunch of big buys that came in. Like you should see. So this is falling. This gets this Bitcoin dominance takes a big hit, right? So I posted on, on this on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, crypto BTC underscore Chris. So you can see Litecoin, you had $1.2 million bought in nine minutes. Bitcoin Cash, someone bought $3.31 million in five minutes. EOS, $1.82 in six minutes. EOS, someone bought 28 Bitcoin worth of EOS. Every All these big buys are coming in. 1.82 million ethereum classic 11 bitcoin ethereum classic 980,000 neo 15 bitcoin so again all of this is depicted on this chart because bitcoin dominance falls as altcoin dominance increases or the altcoin market cap combined increases so amazing to kind of see this play out really kind of fizzled out like these Larger caps didn't quite play out, but what will happen is the epic altcoin season is if this breaks lower, these altcoins full swing. We're going to get an amazing, I'm not saying it's going to be 2017 levels like that one time ever altcoin season. I'm just, China is battling for cryptocurrency. They're taking it to a new stage. So the idea here is that there's some private sector led East Asian billionaires, influential figures. They want to take a basket of, of currencies, the Chinese yuan, Japanese yen, South Korean yuan, and the Hong Kong dollar, and make a basket. They, they're trying to compete with Libra, actually. So this basket of four currencies, what they're envisioning is, listen to this now, establishing a cross-border payment network in which businesses will make deals with each other using digital wallets. What does this do to cryptos? that base their project is based on money transmittance pay attention to this we want mainstream to adopt us but you're going to see digital currencies coming from all the major countries probably all countries in the future and how is that going to compete or how are cryptocurrencies going to compete against that important to understand this idea canada is jumping on board too they're serious about designing their central bank digital uh, currency so there is a job listing on June the 11th that said the Central Bank of Canada is reinventing central banking. They're rethinking the nature of Canada's cash. So this is a design for the digital Canadian dollar. It can be thought of as a bank note, but in digital form. 
All these countries are jumping on board. What's the U.S. doing? I'm sure they're ahead. I'm sure they're the leader. Fed chair on the digital dollar. We need to understand it first and best. But is he too late? Like, why is the United States dragging their feet here? I don't understand. Then they went on to state, I don't really think the public would welcome the idea that private employees who are not accountable uh, to the public good would be responsible for something that's important. So I guess what he's saying is that uh, government employees are always accountable to the public good. Is that what he's saying? Really? Really? Anyways, the, the idea here is that they just don't think that a Libra type system would be a good idea for the central bank, obviously. The digital dollar is coming. They got to step up. Shell and IBM team up to accelerate digitalization in the mining industry. So this goes on to talk about just basically keeping employees safe, Internet of Things, everything interconnected in the mines. They want to connect and integrate, leverage data, artificial intelligence, automation, analytics. Point here is this. Shell, huge name. IBM, huge name. They're teaming up. What you have here, you've got governments getting involved in cryptocurrencies or blockchain or stable coins. You've got IBM, Shell, big name. Samsung even has blockchain now. They're getting involved. This is the biggest threat to cryptocurrency adoption. Watch me now. Listen, you, you've got to understand and realize that you have to be realistic about what cryptocurrencies can accomplish. There's a lot of things that, that out of the box crypto can accomplish. However, the biggest competitors out there have big names, Shell, IBM, Samsung, and governments who have the ability to change the law. So I just don't want you to get blinders on completely and focus on, hey, this is it. This is it. You, you just have to be able to pivot and understand like, hey, there's going to be a point where you might need to make some moves based on the news that I cover. JP Morgan nabs a former Gemini executive to work on wholesale payments innovation. Remember, JP Morgan, they used to call Bitcoin a bubble and a scam. Jamie Dimon did. Well, now they're hiring people from other exchanges. And this young lady, Mrs. Olson, she was involved in uh, the Gemini exchange's efforts to push its own stable coin, the Gemini dollar. Remember, JP Morgan, JPM coin they came out with has over 300 banks uh, since its inception. Ripple XRP has about 220 banks and they've had obviously years and years and years to build this up. Name recognition here, guys. I'm just saying, you have to know, I got my moon boots on, I'm moon boot ready. We're gonna make a ton of money and we're gonna be rich all out of the cryptocurrency space. Like this is gonna change our lives forever. But I just want to make sure that you guys are grounded and you understand like there's a point where you got to take your money. Like you got to take what you want from this market. That's what this market is. Whether we like it or not, everybody's trying to take each other's money. It's on an open market. It happens in the stock market. It happens in Forex. It happens in crypto. Okay, you have to acknowledge like, hey, that's how this market works. At some point, you have to realize some profits. Whether you wait and hold for another year or two until we hit all-time highs again, at some point, you're going to want to take your money out and not ride these downtrends down. So Bitcoin investors bullish, even Bitcoin, even though Bitcoin price is below 10,000. Are they? Go to the fear and greed index, 40. I don't know. Is that bullish? They're fearful, but are they bullish? Former CFTC chair lays out why he thinks XRP isn't a security. And so this is big news. Hey, XRP is not a security. Didn't move the price much. And then you go to the next story and you find out he's now working at Ripple. Well, obviously, he's going to pump his coin, right? You know, he's, do you think he got paid any XRP to work for Ripple? I mean, anyone? 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 Really? If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.